All right, guys, today I've got a uh, quick review here. It's going to be on Launcher 8 Free. Um, there's a pro version of this, but I'm going to go over the free version for right now. If you want other features, do definitely check that out. So this is it right here. You can get it in the App Store, Google Play, however you want to call it. And uh, just go ahead and install it. And then when it's done, hit Open. And it's going to open up the launcher. And then it's going to ask you to set it as uh, your default launcher. So I'd go ahead and do that. So hit OK. And then you want to select Launcher 8. This is on my uh, Note 3, so that's why I have this other TouchWiz Home Launcher. And then hit Always. And there you go. It talks about where you can reset your launcher preferences. So right here, this is it right here. First of all, let me just kind of go through it. Um, it's pretty, really pretty simple. Basically, they're already hot linked all of your applications to this main screen. So you can go here and you can go into settings of your device. Go back out. Um, if you go into this, it says gallery. Open up your gallery. You can see that. Um, calendar or calculator, I should say. Right there. And then this Android guy is actually your app store, which is pretty cool. Get right back into it. Um, and you guys kind of get the point of this, you know, phone does the same thing, messaging, all that kind of stuff uh, is all the same. Um, so if you're on this screen, this is kind of like your home screen. You can scroll over and it's going to go right into your basically app drawer where all your applications are stored. They are in alphabetical. You can see A, C and uh, D and so on and uh, look at all of them alphabetically. So you can go to like W and it'll skip around. So pretty cool. Um, definitely like uh, that setup. So here you go. So basically these are your two screens. Now let's go through um, a whole ton of settings. This thing is fully loaded with some really cool settings. And there's a couple ways you can get to them. So one of them would be swiping from here over. And you can see that that opens up your uh, settings for this home screen. Or you can actually just hit this button right there and it also opens up the settings. So I guess we'll go through them kind of one at a time. So first of all, let's go to edit. And you can see everything's kind of floating around. And from here, you can actually, um, let's show you how to edit one of these. Let's actually go to this one, the internet one. Just touch it and you have some options. So if you hit the pin, it's gonna go ahead and delete it. If you hit this button, it's gonna change the size of it. You can see that now. And you can put it back, move it around. Or if you hit this one, it's gonna do an edit. And we don't have any app set up for this. To, this It says internet, but there's no app like sunk to it yet. So we're gonna say bind app. And we're gonna bind it with Chrome. So now when you hit that little icon, it's going to do Chrome. Um, and then you can come in here and you guys can see there's a ton of icons you can pick from. So if you like Chrome, like this is a good one to keep your, your theme correct. You can select that one. And now it looks like Chrome right there. Um, you can do eye composition. You can see you can center fit, extrude, however you guys want to do it. Um, set tile size. Again, you can pick it if you want it even bigger than the three options that I showed you a second ago. Here's where you say is bind application. So again, this is where you can pick Chrome or you can pick maybe your standard internet browser that comes with the device. However, that however you want to go there. Background. So it's going to be the background color of the tile. I'm actually going to change it to black just so I can show it to you. And then there's some notifications, things you can set up here for your phone call tile and your maybe SS, SMS tile on the device. So that's pretty much everything under settings. When you're done, hit the little checkbox. And there you can see I have now a, a, a nice little black background with the Chrome in white icon. And when you hit it, it's going to launch uh, Chrome. So there you go, you can see how it goes. Um, so anyway, those are the settings for here for editing. Let's show you another one. If you want to add a tile so we can add a widget. So application, shortcut, other, new folder. I'm going to do a widget and show you how this works. So I like to get to my uh, Google search and shabam, you can see it adds on the bottom. But again, if you guys want to um, edit those, you can just hit the edit button and click on it and then pull it around wherever you guys want to put it. I like my search bar at the top. Back button and you can see there you go, it's it's in your setup. So let's keep going through these options really quick. Um, so I'll go to themes really quick here. This is pretty cool. Now, this is a little hard for me to understand how this works, but 
if you have something up here on the top that's in white and then you have something next to it that normally means you can scroll it so, so you can scroll over and you can scroll over and you're on more and you're on new and you're on local so just understand that's how it works and you can download any of these themes um, to your device so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one all right there we go and from Google now oh, so this is a paid theme I'm actually I'm not gonna do it but that's how you can do it if you want themes uh, you can scroll through here and look through the themes you can also even upload themes if you create an account which is pretty cool so I'll show you that um, so there's themes here we go to more right here if you have a personal account here you can sign in and you ac actually can like upload your own themes that you make right here with like share share does another thing which is cool you can just share with your friends um, do different things and show them different themes that you guys have created so there is a lot in this really um, let's go back over to settings and then you got system settings which is obviously your settings for the phone and then the last one that is really nice we're going to go into settings for the launcher so this is pretty loaded again um, and does have some cool stuff so i'm going to go ahead and pick my tile color i'm going to change it to green because i like this color better and all well, right here this is where you can save or load themes so you can come in here and you can see these ones here's where it says share so share mine so if you have a theme you can click it and then again if you log in you can upload your theme and other people can download it which is really neat so if you have something really cool um, different things here this is uh, tile padding so what's around the tile so this is default I'll just show you if you change it to six um, I'll see these lines between each tile are a lot thinner so like I said this thing is it's pretty loaded um, go back to default because I actually like 10 it looks nice uh, background color again that would be the, the, the look behind that stuff you can do system wallpaper you can do white or black black just looks the best um, status bar so this is really nice so I'm gonna go in here and turn this on active notifications and then you want to go to launcher and turn it on and you'll see why we're doing that and then back back out again now we're gonna go to system st status bar and go to wallpaper 8 you can probably see things changing here as I'm doing this and turn that on always on for status bar there we go now we're talking and then you can pick what apps you want the status bar to kind of pick up on and monitor so that they display correctly in the new status bar this takes a second here and you can see there's a whole bunch already pre-checked but I'm gonna check one more just cuz I want my Yahoo mail to, to show up there there we go back out and you can back out of this and now you can see you have a new Windows 8 looking uh, status bar which is just just pretty cool looking I like it a lot it's got the battery percentage time some signals you'll get your notifications in there now if they're checked in that last scene um, like I'm saying this thing is fully loaded there's you can set system wallpaper if you don't like the back background um, screen orientation different things launcher animations so again you got themes up here on the top and then you can see you have scroll over now you have lock screen options so you can pick um, show status bar on lock screen that's on launcher 8 lock screen turned on which I do want it turned on because it looks cool lock screen wallpaper I'm going to show you my favorite is going to be this one a little hard to see in the in the thumbnail here but it is really cool so I'm gonna hit that and it's gonna apply and uh, there we go so the lock screen picture just looks really cool it kind of scrolls up after you hit it uh, let's see locks password I don't want one on right now uh, lock style so this is nice it just shows how you want like um, your time and date laid out uh, the standards fine for me it's just fine style four there so there you go and then you can scroll over again and now you're into your app drawer settings so app list and things like that I'm gonna show you these from a different screen though so we can come over here to do our app drawer and we can scroll over that way and you can see you have those same exact options pretty much so I like the grid layout so I'll change that um, you can hide applications so you can click that one and let's say you don't want anybody to see your app lock click that and you can see app lock got removed from our application list you can refresh the application list change some sort order things right here 
or app settings and get into those same app settings again and you can change all this kind of stuff so app fonts um, app list icon background or you can follow the theme which is the green so we're just going to leave it as a theme but you can change then it'll let you change this app list icon background if you say un don't follow the theme change filters um, like I said this thing is pretty much fully loaded um, and you can see I went from that blue to this uh, green looking setup so definitely digging it again you can share right here click right here hit share and it's going to allow you to share with your friends uh, launcher 8 which is just pretty cool like I said this makes your phone look like a Windows 8 phone and just kind of fun you also have a search button here this is kind of built into it and some suggested stuff you can go ahead and search from right there hit Google hit Yahoo whatever quick links which is nice I like the quick links in there that's cool again here is your themes just more ways to get to them and check them out I don't think all these are paid have to be paid for um, some of them obviously do, but they are very, very cool. Look at that blue and yellow one's pretty sweet. I like that a lot too. So there you go. That's going to be my uh, full review here on Launcher 8 or Windows. Windows Launcher 8 is what I would call it because it's basically what it is. It basically turns your Android phone into a Windows phone. Still got the space operating system, but the whole look and feel is definitely Windows 8. Hope you guys like this review. As always, Root Junkie out.